Hello everybody. So today I came here to talk to you guys. So I just came out of a debate. <laughs> Sorry. I was I just came out of moderating a debate. Okay. Right. So I just came out of the debate and today I came here to talk to you about me getting banned off of a Discord server. So this is what happened. So this is what happened to me on the Riley Grace Rashad Discord server. It said you were kicked out from the Riley Grace Rashad roundtable reasons on denying genocide going on in China on the Heartlands Media Discord. You don't take that kindly of genocide denial. And I said this, you're telling me a Native American person who had their whole culture erased by the United by the USA, I get banned on genocide denial. Wow, I don't believe the gen the Uyghurs for one second. I have sources debunking it. And I showed uh, a colleague of mine where a Swiss man from China speaks where he talks about like the truth about China and what's actually going on. And also, you know the other thing? I got sources debunking all this. And literally, guess what? It had to start with uh, this woman who I invited, who is running for Senate of Ohio, for Ohio. And I said this, here's the Hardlands Media Server kit runs. This is an independent left news outlet. I'm trying to get, on, trying to get you on there. And also invited me to her Discord server, but then after that, we got into a back and forth on the HML Discord server about that. It said she wouldn't work with people who don't believe in what's happening in China. So, she reported me after I debunked her. And reported me to uh, the moderators. And I got kicked out. Because I didn't believe it for one second. And... Literally, let me show you which countries actually recognize it and which countries don't recognize what's happening in uh, Xinjiang. Because literally, I do not believe what's happening in Xinjiang for one second. So which countries are condemning or support China? Look, this is from 2019. The reason why the United States is not on here is because, let me tell you something. 2019, and also the United States does not officially respond to anything. Like, for example, with Homodor, it didn't respond for a while. But. When it came to. Uh, but when it came to uh, Iraq, it actually recognized. It supports China. And all these members of the organization. Organization of Islamic Cooperatives, literally, these nations support China and don't believe that it's real, and our countries as well support China. So, literally, China is not even doing any of it, and there's so many sources from the People's Archive that I got. Sterilization was completely debunked because, guess what? The population has been growing. Next, if it was genocide, you would have had them going to all their bordering country, all the bordering Muslim countries are in Xinjiang and fleeing China entirely. And next, Rushana Boss, who said her sister uh, in 2016 went back to China to, uh, and went back into China and hasn't been in contact with her. Okay, why would I believe you for one second? Because literally, why would somebody go back to China if this was happening? Like, why? Why would somebody go back to China if this was happening? Oh, yeah, because you work for Ned, which is a branch of the CIA, so. Oh, yeah, and next, literally, she defends Guantanamo Bay, but before she was like, close Guantanamo Bay, close Guantanamo Bay, but then went on the Daniel Dumbrill podcast and started saying, oh, what's happening with Daniel? What's happening? This is genocide. And. Also saying, oh, they actually did all this other stuff. They actually treated Muslims well in Guantanamo Bay. 
And literally, the U.S. admits to using Uyghurs in Xinjiang to destabilize China. Literally, the U.S. Literally, this United States Admiral Colonel. Literally, he was a retired Admiral Colonel and former Chief of Staff of the United States Secretary Colin Powell. Literally, this is a plan where the United States said this way. The CIA could literally use this to destabilize China. So, literally, there's so many sources debunking this. And also, some photos that you see are really just doctored photos from our places. Like, you saw that video where they were showing uh, us about how how literally uh they were uh oh wait showing us photos of how or video of this weaker muslim getting beat by a chinese police officer for reading the quran when that actually turned out to be a video from okay a video from a cop in indonesia beating up a thief so literally that contradicts the thing and then the s note that adrian zenth retweeted where it shows like oh i'm in an internment camp oh help me it was in a shoe and guess what it wasn't even made in china it was made in vietnam the shoe was made in vietnam so don't tell me about genocide when you're talking to a native american who had their whole culture of genocide and next if they were like why like literally also if they were doing sterilization then why have the ha, why has the weaker population grown ever since? And also next, the one child policy law did not even apply to weaker Muslims and minorities in general. I actually talked to people who are in China and they believe this is all BS. Like, oh my god. And literally there is tons of sources. I don't I'm not gonna link them down in the description. Just go check out I'll link uh I'll just link one where I link the whole archive from the gray zone, which I recommend all you go check out. So literally calling this cultural genocide and literally when has the United States ever cared about Muslims? And it's all the Western countries who believe this. I remember on the obnoxious anarchist discord server, someone sent me this. Let me find that. Ah. The list of all the names, countries that are condemning China. Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, Ireland, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom. A bunch of white countries except Japan because they have Asian people and you got a bunch of Arab countries and African countries and countries that have people of color saying this is not even true and also some with their Muslim majority this is a total hoax it's a total hoax literally and also this person has a channel so I recommend you go check it out I'll link it down in the description but he's saying this so Getting there, no evidence why 10 ethnic Muslim groups are, are the Uyghurs. The only ones being oppressed are how people are accusing our, our, Christian fun, our fundamentalist Christians on how Muslim-majority countries defend China. And then CNN outlets are owned by white supremacists. Like, it's so true. And, like... Literally, it's so, uh, it's, like, so obvious, like, how this is so fake. Like, it's so obvious. And there was this one note where it was showing, oh, this no car, where it was showing, oh, I'm a weaker Muslim, I need help, and stuff like that. Even the six-year-old girl literally believed it was a hoax. Wow. Literally. <laughs> So it's like so funny telling me about genocide denial when literally I, as a Native American, my culture has been genocided off the United States and the Northern Hemisphere.
This is so horrible. Literally, it's so funny. And also, like, Muslim delegations debunk their claims completely. And also, guess where they got their statistics of millions of people in the German camps? From eight people they interviewed. Eight people. You're telling me eight people? And also, Ned is funded, is known for doing coups to countries that we don't like. Ned is known for that. But, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.